South Dakota wins a six straight game in Terre Haute, Indiana on Saturday, 17-3 over Indiana State. Here to talk a little bit more about that is head coach Bob Nielsen. And Bob, you and I sat in this very spot last week and you said, hey, you got to handle your business on the, uh, at home and you got to figure out ways to win on the road. That certainly was the case on Saturday. That's the way it is in the Valley. Uh, it doesn't make any difference who you're playing, what their record is. Um, you know, you're going you're gonna to face a tough opponent. And, and Indiana State played as tough, um, got off to a little bit of a slow start in the game, but uh, really uh, came through in the second half uh, to put the game into the win column. Yeah, and it was uh, homecoming for them. Always a little more juice for the home team when, when that is the case. But let's talk about that first half. It, it felt disjointed or... or just like something wasn't quite clicking at 100%. Is that, is that a fair way to, to characterize that? Yeah, you know, it wasn't a lot of energy. Um, it's a difficult place to play. It's, it's not an easy trip. Uh, we don't want to use those as excuses. But I thought, you know, we were not, you know, the same football team from, a, from an energy standpoint uh, that we had been uh, the previous couple of weeks. Um, Indiana State did a good job. They controlled the football in the first quarter. Uh, even though they didn't get any points on the board, uh, it really didn't give us a chance to get anything going offensively with the way that they controlled the football and then uncharacteristically we made some mistakes offensively um, you know got some penalties uh, had the ball in the red zone picked up a couple of negative plays I had to take a field goal uh, and so it uh, wasn't our best half of football by any means how did you challenge the guys at halftime or what was the message then because even though it took a little bit even into the third quarter for them to get going once they did it was like a dip, the team we had been seeing yeah you know just uh, you know we, we went to, into half and made a you know some minor adjustments on some things not really a lot really that everybody thinks there's more adjustments that are made at halftime and and told our guys hey it's our game to win and we we're going to go out and win it and we needed to do that with our level of play and offensively uh, even though the first drive uh, we ended up not scoring on, we moved the ball well and then scored touchdowns on our next two drives. Defensively, we got them off the field in between those possessions. And and uh, once we got you know once we got ahead, I felt really good about our ability to close the game out, uh, which we did. Talk about that first touchdown drive, 98-yard drive. Yeah. That's the type of drive that really can energize a football team. Certainly felt like that was the effect uh, after you guys got in there on that Nate Thomas touchdown. Yeah, critical first down. You know, when you're backed up that deep, you need to get a first down on the ground. We did that um, and then, uh, you know, got a big play in there that with the pass to, to J.J. And, and then a, a good job of execution in the red zone. And, and uh, that was a big drive. And then to score on the very next possession with another big play really separated the game. Yeah, Charles Pierre with a home run, 81-yard touchdown run. He goes over 100 yards for the first time in his career. Travis Tice goes over 100 as well. Second time this season we've seen two running backs go over 100 yards in the same game. What, what's that say about the state of the running game right now for you guys to be able to do that? Well, again, it shows our depth at that position. You know, two totally different 100-yard games. You know? <laughs> Seriously. Travis's uh, yards were pretty hard-earned, and, uh, you know, uh, Indiana State was playing the safeties low, trying to get, you know, them involved in the run game, and, and we caught them uh, and, uh, you know, split a run there with Charles, and, and uh, with his speed, he's able to go the distance on, on uh, a big run like that. And so... Uh, we've used multiple guys at that position. They've all uh, been playing at a high level, and we'll need uh, those guys to continue to do that for us. All right, his touchdown puts you up 17-3, to and as you said, the defense kind of handled it from there, closed out the game. Indiana State did threaten a, a little bit uh, on the ensuing possession, but kept them off the board. They get nothing out of it. Uh, a couple of guys I want to highlight, and I know you've talked a lot about them. We have it here in this setting a lot. Uh, is the play of Brock Mogensen and, and Stephen Hillis. Those two combined for 26 tackles on the day. Uh, you, you knew what you had in those guys, but to see them step up in a game like that that was tight uh, and deliver in that way had to be pretty satisfying. Yeah, you don't talk about them much because you just expect them yeah, exactly. <laughs> to, I think that's to, it. to perform like that. You know, they're always going to lead our tackle charts. They're always around the football. They're always playing hard. They, they're not just uh, – uh, leaders for us defensively. They're leaders for us on our football team with the way they play and the way that they do things. All right, you get you get past this one, you get the win, 17 to three, and obviously there's a pretty decent game coming up this weekend <laughs> uh, with South Dakota State, and, and we'll get into that more later. But for now, I mean, it sets up on paper to be the best matchup that we've seen between these two programs, uh, and you get it at your place. That's that's certainly helpful. 
yeah, it's, it's great to have a game like this at home, you know, and in front of our fans. I'm excited for our fans, excited for our football team. They've they've done what they've needed to do to make this uh, a big game, you know, not just for South Dakota State, but for us, uh, and obviously a, a, a big game for for both programs and a big game for the conference standing. And, and uh, we got to bring our best. We understand that. Uh, they're a very talented, uh, very outstanding football team. Um, and our guys are going to work hard this week uh, to uh, uh, to bring our best on Saturday. Yeah, a lot of a lot of eyes in FCS football going to be on the Dakota Dome on Saturday as South Dakota State South Dakota get together yet again. Look forward to that. We'll talk a little bit more about that matchup later this week.